All right, welcome back to the Gray Falcon uh, 8 Bay battery charger. Uh, what happened with this charger? I love this charger. This charger is fantastic. We're going to go over a couple things that I found that you should be aware of so this doesn't happen to you. So I unplugged this to move it, right? There was no batteries in it, but if it's plugged in and left, it remembers. Like you can set this one to charge, you know, something at 0.1 amps to 1.6 volts, you know, say for these two. And then you got four for 18, 650, like, you know, 4.2 volt batteries and you're charging them at full power. And then you got like, say some C and D's set up for here and you're charging them somewhere in the middle. Well, what happens as soon as you unplug this charger, it forgets what you've set the base to. So as you can see, it thinks these two 18650s, and I'll bring it in closer so you can see the writing or the, hopefully that comes through good. I can read it on the camera. Yeah, right there, there's no glare on it. So what happens is it forgets. And so you're gonna to have to reset it. Now, what I'm gonna do with this charger is, uh, well, before we get to that, another thing, what I would have loved to seen for this charger is some uh, little things here. So you can put anchor some screws in the wall and just hang it on. But, I'm gonna use some industrial strength Velcro and just Velcro it, you know, right beside my vape shelf on the on the wall and then uh, it's there and it's on the wall and you can just leave it plugged in and not have to worry about shit okay so here we go so you're gonna have to reset them it says their batteries are full because it thinks they're uh, a one point a 1.5 uh, volt battery right now so we're gonna hit the blue button hit the CV button and then we'll leave that at one hit it again and go to voltage and move that up to 4.2 then hold this button down and there we go it says our battery's at 3.45 volts and charging and yeah there you go that's simple as that and then I'm going to do this one, go to voltage, put her back up to 4.2, hold the button down, and this number is going to flash there in a couple times before it starts going, and then there you go, it's charging. Now let's just say, what do we got here? put these ones in well you can even do this before before you even put your batteries in I'm gonna go CV and uh, what we're gonna do is so you don't want to charge it full you want to you know go for a little slow deep charge that you know you can do that I'm going to go to 4.2, and that's it. Now it's ready for a battery. Boom. Charging. We'll do the same thing with the next one. <clears throat> so we're going to select that one. I'm going to press go to here. Oh, wrong button, sorry. I'm going to go 4.2. We're going to charge this one slower. And then all you got to do, sorry if my fingers are in the way, is hold that button down until the numbers start flashing where there is no numbers. And in she goes. Problem solved. 
Other than that, this is a phenomenal charger. I love this charger. Um, I can run batteries empty, you know, like. These all need to be charged and you can do it all at once. It's great. Other than that, this is a phenomenal charger. I highly recommend it. I will try to find a retailer that sells this charger. I'll do a little look online for it. But yeah, and leave it in the link in the descriptions. But that's going to do it for this video. Big thumbs up on this charger here. And uh, until next time, YouTube, stay vaping.